Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining in tonight. This is your host Nino inviting you to an episode inspired by a comment undertaken by user Henilson da Silva. I hope I'm producing your name correctly, kind sir, who mentioned that I should not be trying to get my book 8088 version 2 into VGA mode for the chip allows it, but the monitor does not. And instead I shall be trying EGA mode. So today's star is this book 8088 version 2, which as opposed to version 1, apart from having like darker stickers, is also endowed with serial and parallel ports. So that's the serial port into which I have stuck a Genie mouse version 6, a GM6 mouse. And yeah, here's the familiar ESA extension and so on and so forth the way you are used to it. But this mouse port allows for the connection of this mouse. The thing is this mouse is naturally a DB25 mouse. So I actually had to get an adapter to, you know, narrow down the serial port. Like the more classical serial port of the time, of course, would be like this. But yeah, the book 8088 is produced with a somewhat more modern port, which is the DB9 variant. Anyway, uh, the mouse really is a ball mouse. I tell you, 10 minutes into using it, you remember why you went to laser and never looked back. And if we do things like that, yeah, eh? I was there, Gandalf, I was there 3000 years ago. So <laughs> that, however, is a factory new one. Oh, I love it. And now I shall be putting it to good use in Windows, which we shall herewith try to get into EGA mode. And then after doing that, we shall be doing one further experiment. So there goes our 8088 booting. That's what the modern boot screen looks like. Yeah, you see here a little bit of data regarding the COM ports and the LPT1 port. And yeah, now it is booting drive C. Here is an interesting detail to be noted. See this Y on the DOS mouse driver means to load the mouse driver anyway, whether it is registering a mouse or not, which is quite useful if you have a, you know, mouse which is not right now connected or something like that, because otherwise it would just forgo loading the driver. And now that we have progressed into booting into DOS, I have typed the command win to get into Windows. And here we are. R. So this is going to be drawn out a little bit. I had to reinstall Windows after my last adventure. And yeah, 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 this version of pointer options and so on and so forth. Still, I believe my my mouse was working. Why is it not working now? Okay. I look again to be mouseless. God knows why. Okay. Going to try to fix that first. All right. Now it is working. I restarted the whole thing simply. Well, after my last misadventure, when I had to reinstall Windows, the beneficial effect of it was at least that I got a normal mouse cursor back. The original one with which it was delivered was about as big as my fingernail. And I don't know, while it was artistic, it was also somewhat ridiculous. Today's exercise, though, is leading us not towards the accessoires, but towards the hmm, main, main or Windows applications, one out of. And yes, main and Windows setup. For there indeed, we shall be selecting 
the EGA video mode instead of the default CGA video mode. For this, please allow me to make the screen a little larger. So, great, thank you. I hope you can follow along now more easily as to what we will be doing here. So we're having here the display still set to CGA, right? And we're going to say change system settings. As I learned from my previous adventure, in order to do so, best you have the Windows installation floppies copied onto your hard drive. I have copied them into seven separate folders from the 720k set, like the three and a half ver uh, inch version. For as you do changes, Windows is going to be asking for the source directories from which to copy drivers, programs and whatnot. So here it is saying CGA and in my previous video I made the mistake of picking VGA and just losing display altogether. Now we're having here EGA, EGA black and white 286 only, EGA monochrome 286 only. Well, I have none of these. I can take the default EGA and just to check out what other things are available. Well, weirdo displays and then of course VGA. EGA is actually a rather strange graphics mode because you can say the original CGA was quite widely known and the successor VGA also existed for was a like main standard for one and a half decades maybe and EGA existed just for a brief period between CGA and VGA and it was therefore sandwiched a little bit so isn't all that well known and useful as the other two but might just give us in particular a bit more vertical pixels so I'm going to say OK. By the way, note that here the Windows installation put it not to none, as it was when the machine came to sold to me, but to Microsoft or IBM PS2. I mean, I find that actually quite, quite weird, because I certainly don't have a PS2 mouse. It's a COM1 mouse, but it's nothing of mouse systems or the like. Okay, so let's say EGA, okay. And then it will now start to ask me to give it the directories from which to copy the files. I shall skip over the wait. So for you, things will be a bit faster than they are in the reality. In other words, if you are doing this, don't be surprised if it takes a while. Okay, it just asked me for disk number two. I gave it the directory and now it is installing the fonts for VGA resolution. Now it is again asking me for a disk, this time disk five, which is in my case directory version five. And now it will either go dark and die and force me to reinstall everything once again, or it will actually work out. Weirdest thing is the cursor. You see this on the dialog box above the line, my cursor changed into one straight pipe symbol. Okay. It wants now disk six. It actually looks well. Okay. Go ahead, my boy. And again, disk two. Boom. I believe that should be the final setup step necessary. And then I'm curious, will we be seeing who knows what difference to what it is now? Oh, okay, okay, again, disc five. Imagine what a disc jockey you had to be in the 1980s. 
Oh, restart Windows. Yes, please. Last time it went dark like this and never came up again and I had to reinstall it. And this time... Oh, we are having EGA, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, is that color? Am I, am I having this in color now? Oh, the luxury. Henilson da Silva, you're a brilliant man. You really brought this machine forward into the future. Yeah, yeah, this little error I will handle if, if I ever care to do so. I can just live happily with this. So now we see EGA is indeed possible. I am a little bit disconcerted that it's not sold that way. I mean, why do we have to go through all of these weird steps? Why does it continue to get sold with the black and white CGA thing. Maybe this uses more memory, who knows. But it is working and that's awesome. Okay, so here, to mark the historic moment, I am going to be giving into the temptation to open Microsoft Paint and paint uh, Big red smiley with a blue smile, yes, and green eyes. So this is the face of Windows 3.0 in color, ladies and gentlemen. This is how people must have felt when they saw color television for the first time. Okay, I'm not saving this though, of course. I'm just going to exit. And now, of course, another question becomes quite interesting. Namely, can I switch between notepad and the command prompt in any sort of acceptable fashion not to call it fluent but if I now open notepad and let's say I want to write some form of source code here I might want to then open a compiler or interpreter in the command prompt and execute it so let's say I am writing no actually I'm just going to Prink Hello and have a new line Terpri. So this is Lisp and I'm going to save this. As I dot yeah, but not on the C windows just on the C hi dot LSP I'm going to press enter and so we're having a high Lisp file well that's nice and here from the program manager Let me minimize the accessoires and go to main. I believe it was on the main, but I'm not sure anymore. Yes, there is the DOS prompt. The purpose of this experiment is to determine whether I can have a sort of productive development cycle. <laughs> CD like this and okay so I'm running in DOS here and I can load xlisp sm 
L, small XLISP. XLISP was a very famous development environment of the 1980s, and I believe the small version was one which didn't use any particular extended or expanded memory. So load high dot LSP and we're getting hello. So it executed it correctly. Very good. Now pressing Alt Tab will return me to Windows. It will take a good moment. It would normally return me to the last open program, which was actually Notepad. And let's say that I add another line, which is print there. So we will be having hello there, one after the other. Terpri, like terminate printing, means new line. Alt file save. So I've now changed the source code. And now comes the moment of truth. I'm now going to press Alt Tab. And very often, ah, okay, one more time. Okay, maybe I have to click down there. Yeah, restore. Very often in the past, DOS was messed up here. The columns and rows were in particular switching to mode 40. But as I see here, this is not the case anymore. I'm having the same look of things as before. And if I now say load high lisp, I'm getting this time hello there. In other words, I have now established a working edit and test cycle with my Lisp interpreter, which I'm about to quit. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, unbound symbol because it's exit. It's either exit or quit, and it really depends on the taste of whoever implements it. And that means... In conclusion, that if I wished, I could do some halfway serious development on Windows 3.0 on this book 8088 version 2. So, I hope you found today's episode and today's little experiment about programming environments entertaining and useful. Do go ahead and try out the EGA mode, it works just fine. I hope you will join here soon again for further adventures and all sorts of topics. Sometimes book 88, sometimes others. If you're not a subscriber yet, I would of course be honored if you were to join our elite club. I wish you an enjoyable evening. See you soon. Thanks for watching and goodbye.